But the lesbian community that I know of, we don't play them type of games. We're not about to even play with ourselves and our own emotions and feelings and be fake breaking up or acting like we broke up. Who wants to go through that? To look back at the entire year. Come on, past the perfect. You know the vibes. It's Jay. Hand me the lighter, I'm about to get litter than a bitch. Big, big period. Are you serious? These hoes are acting all delirious and I ain't. You know the vibes. It's Jay. What's going on, Jay Squad? Plum Squad is your girl Jay. You already know. Welcome back to Jay Vibes. Where there's a whole lot of great vibes going on, big period. Today's video. It's gonna be a reaction video and before this video becomes highly recommended and requested I just took it upon myself because I'm curious to know what happened and this isn't to say I'm gonna get all of my questions answered I don't even think I have questions I just want to know what happened because this feels like October-ish November-ish 2019-ish vibes the only thing that's different is it ain't me it sucks, you guys, when YouTubers and couples are, you know, in the eye of thousands and millions of people and they break up publicly. It's so embarrassing. It's damn near humiliating. When I first heard it, I did not believe it. I didn't believe it because it had, like, already kind of been like a word going around social media that they broke up, but then they wasn't really broke up because they had celebrated an anniversary. But y'all, what be happening behind closed doors, it's a whole different scenery from what we put out on camera. Not to say nobody is fake or acting or pretending, but these videos that we give y'all be like, what, 10 minute, 20 minute videos top? It's 24 hours in a whole day. So when I heard it and when I knew that it was for real, I had seen, you know what I'm saying, Tay post videos on her own channel. But Tay wasn't really putting out no content that like, I don't know. I'm definitely going to react to her videos and it's videos before this situation happened that I was going to react to. But Tay kind of like been wilding out. Like Tay been like living free, doing what she want to do and probably not trying to deal with her real emotions and her real feelings. And, you know, still just trying to probably, what's the word I'm looking for? Probably trying to just, I don't know. I, I can't find the word that I'm looking for, but I know the word that I'm looking for. But I haven't seen Jazz put out anything. So this is the first thing that I've seen Jazz put out. And um, this video is what happened between me and Tay. So she's basically about to lay the cards out on the table. And we about to, we about to play cards. You know what I'm saying? Just, I hope it's real simple, like something like solitary. I don't need no crazy ass, you know, card game being played on the table. I just need it to be real simple. You know what I'm saying? I hope she keep it cute. I just can't believe it's Jazz and Tay that has come to this point. But I just honestly want to um, turn on my, not my sensitive side, but I don't want to be insensitive neither because again, I feel... I've been here, you know what I'm saying? Diamond and Chrissy has been here, you know. Deere and Ken, they don't look at this end through the window, but they ain't never been here, you know what I'm saying? They just keep, it's like a cat with nine lives. With them, they just, they never get to this point. And I don't wish breakups on nobody, you guys. Breakups are not easy whatsoever. But, um, yeah, enough chit-chat. You already know what it's about to be. Please make sure you are subscribed to my channels, like this video, comment down below, share my content, and let's get into the video. We gonna try to keep this real raw, unedited as possible. You know what I'm saying? I can't promise I won't make no chops or, you know what I'm saying, none of that because I'm not perfect and I got a lot to explain and say or clear up or, you know what I'm saying, and just talk about. And it's gonna kind of be like, you know what I'm saying, a little clearing the air and update with me and kind of everything that's been going on my relationship etc so uh by the way y'all this feel hella weird like even me just setting up the camera setting up the lights it is weird it just feel weird because i haven't recorded and done this like in months so um yeah this kind of just feel weird but anyway um yeah i want to clear up some statements, some false accusations, some stuff that's been said that's not true. Like, people putting their own plot twists and stories together. Them and, trolls. You know, some people running with this and saying this. Them and kids. With that saying that. And Them tea yeah, pages. They didn't get it from me or Tay. I don't know where people be getting this information from, where they be getting this stuff that, you know what I'm saying, be put out in the air. I don't really know. I'm going to speak on some things. Some stuff is meant between me and Tay. You know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, 
so let's go ahead and hop into this. So first thing, y'all, I want to clear, y'all, is some crazy false rumor about me moving to Atlanta and managing some YouTubers that I worked I with personally that. in my past. But that sound um, like cat. That's not true, y'all. That's false. I actually tweeted. And um, a supporter tweeted me back and said that that was being said by some T-Page. I don't, I don't know, y'all. But I just want to let you guys know, for me personally, I... I love how she says supporter instead of like a fan. I don't call my supporter fans because I just feel like a supporter literally is going to support you. Not when you're always right, but when you are also wrong. And instead of bashing you like a fan would do, a fan is going to bash you. A fan is going to pick and choose sides. You know what I'm saying? A fan is going to be flip-floppy, wishy-washy. And a fan, it starts with F-A for a reason. Fan fake. Fake fan. A supporter, you can't switch, you can't switch them words up. I never said I moved to Atlanta. I never said I was managing this person, that person, and a third. That never came out of my mouth. Never been said by Jazz. Never been said by me. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know where that came from at all, y'all. Uh, the second thing I want to, like, you know what I'm saying, kind of clear up is the whole stage thing. Like, I seen someone where somebody, I don't know, man, somebody posted where me and Tay were staging a breakup, bro. Come on. <laughs> Let me just say this. I don't know what kind of games people play in their relationships or maybe on the other side of the grass where you think it's green at. But the lesbian community that I know of, we don't play them type of games. We're not about to even play with ourselves and our own emotions and feelings and be fake breaking up or acting like we broke up. Who wants to go through that? It's too much bad energy, negative energy when you are really dealing with a breakup. And I just feel like when people act like they breaking up, fake that, like they broke up, you're really like putting stuff in the air in the universe that can come true one day. The fact that people really think people be playing about their breakups, it's so childish. Man, like, bro, I'm not finna. I am a content creator, you know what I'm saying? And I do do stuff for entertainment purposes, but come on, bro. I don't know where people be getting stuff from, man. Like, I wouldn't put my emotions in that. I wouldn't put exactly. other person's emotions in that. I wouldn't put my supporters, our supporters' exactly. emotions in that, bro. Like, you don't even play around like that. Like, bro, like, this shit is real, bro. Like, shit got real. Shit get real. Like, bro, this is somebody's whole relationship. I know I brought my relationship to YouTube, and you know what I'm saying? People gonna put their own opinions and intakes and stuff on that. But, like, I ain't here to judge. We are two humans, you know what you I'm saying? You are human. not perfect, and Nobody's that's just perfect. what it is. Like, it's nothing to be staged, y'all. People break up all the time, things happen all the time, and People separate all the time. You know what I'm saying? It's not life. that it's cool, it's, but it's life. I don't know. I don't know, man. I'm not that YouTuber. We are not those YouTubers who will stage a relationship breakup for some likes, clout. That's just something else I wanted to clear up. Another thing I wanted to clear up is I don't know. A lot of people been saying like um, my business page on Facebook is not real ever since like me and Tay broke up. They think the page is not real. The link's in the description down below, y'all. This is my real Facebook. It was my real Facebook page before uh, me and Tay even got together. It's just I work with a company. They're gonna post anything with me. Yes, yeah, working video, with a company. Post it, so no matter who's else in the video, the page always been named Perfect Lives. It never changed even when our relationship. Even when I changed the picture to me and Tay, all day, y'all, like, the page was named Perfect Labs. It never changed. That's, you know what I'm saying? That's that. That's my page, y'all. I just want to let you guys know that that is my official Facebook business page. You know what I'm saying? So, it's good. It's Gucci. I just want to let y'all know that that is really my account. It's not a fake page. You know what I'm saying? I do work with a company to post content on there, but it is my real page. You know what I'm saying? Um... Yeah, so moving forward, let's go ahead and move to the next Come thing, on, girl, test the person. Which is what, like, happened between me and Tate. A lot of people want to know why we broke up, why we separated, um, why she moved out, because I do live alone now, you know what I'm saying? Well, I don't live alone now, you know what I'm saying, but I don't live with Tate anymore, uh, but... I know you kind of see that the setup look different in this room. Got a new bed, got a new setup. A lot of people want to know what's the reason. Why did we break up? What happened? You know when you're like going through something, you still be like 
processing certain things and why certain things, you know what I'm saying, happen then. You be like telling yourself, talking to yourself, yourself be like, yo, and you be like, yo. You be like, yo, I'm really going through this right now. Like, this is really happening to me. Like, this is real life, you know? Your whole life changes, especially when you're living with somebody. Shit is different. Etc. But, um, y'all, like, me and Tay, we, the whole year 2020, we were kind of, like, Full of COVID. disconnected. I'm gonna be honest. Alright, yeah, I take, like, a little pause. Because this is, like, actually, like, my first time really talking about it in a way. Like, even when my parents, you know, found out and they seen what's going on and they reached out to me, I just kind of kept it, like, at a, you know, like, I'm good. Like, you know what I'm saying? Everything will be handled, you know, I'll figure everything out. It's not healthy, but... I've always but... been that type of person, like, oh, no, I just have a hard time, like, showcasing my emotions and really telling people, like, how I feel and et cetera. So, this is like, you know what I'm saying, just bear with me. That's all I'm saying, just bear with me. So, basically, y'all, the whole 2020, me and Tay, we were basically kind of disconnected. Our communication was totally like it was out of there man like it was shit like mm. it was ass like, not shit in ass communication plays the biggest role in everything your job your com your relationship with a partner your family your sister your friend yourself god like communication it's so free to do but it's so hard to also do and especially when it comes time to like talk about you know, stuff that ain't always good. But when communication starts to get fucked up in your relationship, like, shit like that makes me nervous. You know what I'm saying? When you feel like you can't talk to somebody and when somebody feel like they can't talk to you and when you just feel like you can't express yourself and when y'all just point blank period ain't communicating about it, that shit not healthy. Like, we were not communicating the way that we needed to and the way that we wanted to as a couple and I feel like back then I wasn't understanding enough because you know I'll be a bigger person I'm gonna be you know yes ownership admit my wrongs and say when I was wrong but you know what I'm saying it took me to like December to look back at the entire year come on past the perfect and really like look at things as a whole and like divide it like damn damn like, maybe she was calling out for help. Maybe I did miss the signs. Because she had told me, you know, um, the thing that she was calling out for help the whole year and I was missing the signs. And maybe I was. I was, you know what I'm saying? Um, I just wasn't hitting on to him until, like, kind of the end of November. Like, I just, like, something was off. I'm just like, bro, something is very much off. I'm like, everything just don't even feel the same i'm like we are not here you know what i'm saying we are not here we are not here like we will be good it will work out for a week and then we will be back in the same place for another two weeks two weeks and a half we'll talk it out everything will go back to good i will say i'll work on this and i'm gonna do this and i guess to her she wasn't seeing the progress she wasn't seeing the change how she wanted to see it and I don't know like she wanted to see it immediately or she also when it comes to that like you know everybody argue everybody gets to the point where like okay let me hear you out you heard me out all right okay let me change that let me work on that don't just say the shit though you really gotta like put the effort for real for real and it no don't nothing change overnight but I feel like when that situation comes up again you really have to don't be so quick to respond and act. Like, really think about, okay, how I'm going to go about this differently. You know what I'm saying? But if it's a pattern, that's when shit get, that's when shit get old, tiring, and crazy. And that's when the communication starts fucking up. Don't tell me, like, you know, I'm, like, I'm not trying to see you be like, but I'm also not seeing any actions. So... I just feel like I had a lot to work on. And then at the end of December, she had like a little breakdown. And that's where she had made the post that you guys seen. I ain't seen no post. And I didn't know nothing about the post. I didn't know nothing about the post at all until 11 o'clock that night when I personally had got on um, Instagram. And 
crazy thing about it, like, I just, I don't know how I did not see it. Like, I just did not see it until that night. And that night when I seen it, man, I mean, it just, the argument just got worse. I just felt like you didn't talk to me before you had made that post. But she claimed she had been trying to reach out and been trying to call out for help. And basically that I was missing a sign. So that was her only way of letting out emotions. And you know what I'm saying? Um, I told her, you know, I understand. I was like, okay, after I actually sat down and thought and looked back on it, I was like, okay, understandable. But um, yeah, from there, we were trying to kind of like work on it. It wasn't working. Um, we were steady like withdrawing ourselves. We were disconnecting even more. And just with everything that was kind of like going on, everything that y'all understand, we are real people. We got real feelings, real shit was said like you know what i'm saying real shit was was said when you are arguing mm -hmm. real feelings are put on the floor like real shit that you didn't know a year ago or feelings that you didn't know was there were said so from some of the things that she had said my heart my mind my body i honestly i i just feel like i couldn't like i couldn't do it like i just couldn't like damn i don't know something in me was just like it's time to focus on yourself, you know what I'm saying? You know how you arguing with somebody? And you hear them, you, you hear them, clear as day. You look in them eye, to eye, eye, and you understand everything. Everything that they say, you understand. But you know, it just be something in your head that just click, and it be like, yo, I care about what's going on right now. But well, I don't give a fuck, respectfully, though. Like, I care, but I don't give a fuck. Respectfully, though. I feel like she was in that moment. It's time to just put yourself 100% first. It's time to get back to you. Like, you're not even you. Like, that's what my mom was telling me. So I just knew that, like, us trying to work on a relationship right now when we really needed to work on ourselves individually, it wasn't going to work. Us staying in the same house while trying to do that, even staying in different rooms and stuff, it wasn't going to work. We needed that separation. We needed that space to grow like we need that space to grow individually and um it's something real powerful when you're able to you know what i'm saying be with somebody for a long time and change how you need to change not only for the relationship but for yourself individually you know i like i don't care how long people have been together been married living with each other talking to each other I, I just feel like still at the end of the day, you are an independent person and it's still going to be things that you have to tackle, you know, independently and work on by yourself. Like, even if you are married for 13 years, 5 years, it's still stuff that you need to work on by yourself and you can't always depend on your partner to help you through things. It's just some things you got to pull yourself through by yourself. So... You know what I'm saying? I just I just think for and I commend those couples that are able to literally go through their own shit, you know, tackle their own obstacles, deal with their own demons. They're able to do that and still maintain their relationship, you know what I'm saying? And not solely depend on their partner to always pull them through. Just like you going through something, your partner is going to have their days too. And it's just all about being there for one another. And sometimes being there for one another can be, look, supporting them. Not necessarily always ha knowing what to say or not necessarily always feeling like you got to do something. But just support them, hug them, love them, you know, silently. You know what I'm saying? A hug can go a long way. A random hug, you know what I'm saying? A random, you know, pat on your back. I'm proud of you. You know, lift your head up. I'm here for you. You know? That stuff can go a long way, so, sheesh. That's something that I explained to her, and she noticed, and, yeah, that's basically when she decided um, towards kind of the middle, end of December to get her own place, and that's where that had came from, and, man, I'm still, like, processing a lot of this, y'all.
So if you hear me saying like a lot of just Take your time man, past the perfect. I'm still processing it because this is not like the first time it actually came out my mouth. This is the first time. Like I told you, I haven't talked to my parents. I don't talk I ain't talking to my own family about it. Like I'm just a real like I keep it I keep everything in type of person. Like I keep everything in I like to deal with it by myself. I'm that Libra, like, yeah. That's what happened with that. Like, is that how them Libras is? Nobody stepped out, nobody did no real crazy. Man, I don't know what the hell y'all was thinking. Stuff happened in relationships. They do. And sometimes people grow apart. People disconnect. Sometimes shit that's happens. Real. That's real. That's relationships. You know what I'm saying? And I just feel like we've been together for three years. I've really been with that girl since I came to Houston. I stepped foot in Houston. And I saw her. And I, I just couldn't nobody like, tell me to not fuck with her. Like, couldn't nobody... Tell me to not like mess with Tay. Like that was like that was my baby. Not like, your baby though. For real, like couldn't nobody tell me not to mess with her. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, man, I just feel like she been with me since she was 18. She gonna be 22. I've been with her since I was 20. You know, you know what I'm saying? I just turned 24, and we just never had that space. We never not been about each other. Like I met that girl. Like that girl moved in. Like with me down there. You know what I'm saying? Like lesbians, lesbians, lesbians. We gotta stop doing that. We gotta stop moving in so fast and moving so quickly. We gotta stop doing that. I know it be hard. It do be hard. I literally had somebody tell me. You know what I'm saying? You are obligated to feel how you feel. Can't nobody tell you that you don't feel that 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 type of way. But I feel like. Your actions don't have to always follow how you feel. So if you love somebody, tell that person that you love them. Don't feel like, oh, nah, it's too early. Or don't be afraid because they may not feel the same way about you. You know what I'm saying? Take that risk, but take it responsibly. And take it in a way where it won't scare that person off. And also take that risk or that step without... Sheesh. <laughs> This is deep. Immediately, like, we started hanging out and it was us. Like, I was, you know what I'm saying? We wasn't going nowhere. And everything moved fast and we never, ever had that separation. We never had that That was a problem. In those younger times like that in our life. And I told her, like, right now, we just need that time to grow and both get our mind right. I don't want to be the reason why somebody feeling drained. I don't want to be the reason why somebody feeling unhappy. You know what I'm saying? And I don't want to feel any type of way my damn self. Okay. Because I was just feeling a place where I just was not right. You know what I'm saying? Like, right now I'm feeling way much better than I actually happened at the beginning of December where we had separated. It's going to be February. Um, I'm, no. I also want to say, I know I'm probably saying a lot, but hey, this is my reaction. When stuff like this happen, and when it's two weeks later, a month later, six months later, a year later, you will appreciate yourself for making the decision that you made. All decisions won't be easy when it comes time to move out or when it comes time to agree to disagree or when it comes time to, you know, cut them ties. It ain't easy, but I promise you, you're going to get through it. You know what I'm saying? With... You're a strong support system behind you, beside you, with God first in your life. You know what I'm saying? You're going to get through it. It ain't going to be easy, but you're definitely going to get through it. And then I promise you, Tay and Jazz, they're going to appreciate themselves. You know what I'm saying? For making the decision that they made, especially if they know for a fact that this was the right decision for them both. And you can't be selfish. You can't be selfish in a relationship. You can't be selfish and be like damn she don't feel this way but i feel this way you know what i'm saying how you feel matters and that is a big problem i feel like a lot of times people don't feel like how they feel matter like and, and it does so if you feeling like shit and they feeling like they on top of the damn world how you feeling you feeling like shit that shit matters and even with with that person feeling like they on top of the world that shit matters too but don't be selfish don't be so selfish in a relationship to the point where you know what i'm saying you're not being true to yourself real with yourself and you're not tackling your own 
obstacles and demons. I want a relationship so so real, so true. You know what I'm saying? You can tell me anything. I may not like it. I may not agree with, with it. But I'm going to always respect it. Because how you feel matters. You know what I'm saying? And that's just... Go ahead, Pastor Perfect. Go ahead. Oh, I'm definitely at a better mindset. I'm definitely at a different healing stage. Um, I've accepted a lot of different Maturity things. Maturity right here. Reality. And that's one of the things I had to do within this process is split my reality from my heart. You know what I'm saying? I had to split them. I had to take away what my heart really wanted and put the reality out there because I knew we could keep trying, we could keep doing this, but we just kept falling into the same sunken place. Like, you know what I'm saying? Being happy for a week, a week and a half wasn't going to cut it just for us to go back in the same sunken place. And I just wanted to let you guys know that we weren't perfect and Nobody we is. Perfect and we still gonna make mistakes, and we still are growing. We still are young adults. We still have a, a whole life time ahead of us. Yes. And I just wanna let you guys know there is no bad blood between me and Tay. You know what I'm saying? We are cordial. Praise Jesus. Um, I wish nothing but the best for her. I wish her success. I wish her success on her YouTube journey. That's what I'm talking about, journey, Jazz. Or anything she wanna do in life, I wish her nothing. That's but what the, the fuck I'm talking about. Succeed. That's on big period. Bro, I want nothing but happiness for her and to my supporters and to our supporters thank you guys for supporting me and Tay on that journey thank you guys for coming with me or you know being there for me changing my blog channel to a couple's channel watching that journey supporting me through that journey and I just want to say thank you guys so much without you guys I wouldn't be able to make bump content without you guys I just want to say a lot would not have happened in my life that happened without you know what I'm saying? My perfect squad, man, without you guys that supported me and Tay. And I just want to say thank you, like, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Thank you for all the DMs. Thank you for all the tweets. Thank you for everybody who checked up on me. Thank you for everybody who reached out. Thank you. Thank you, like, from the bottom of my heart, y'all. Like, I really do appreciate it. Like, I really felt the love and I really feel like the support. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I know I've been truly waiting on this video. Um, I just really wanted to wait till the right time. I didn't want to come on here out of immediately and yeah. move wrong. I really wanted to wait till my mind and my body yep. really told me to sit down yep. in front of this camera. That was God. That so that's that's where I wanted to move with that. That's how I wanted to move with that. I've been, you know, really getting my mental together, getting content ideas together getting what I want to do. Um, I've been modeling the house. I kind of got like a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff out of here. Actually, I'm going to show y'all. You know what I'm saying? Since we're here right now, gang, um, let me zoom this boy out for y'all real quick. Yes, it's man. It's my room right now. Now, y'all didn't never get to meet Cash, but we got Cash. Hey, Cash. Too, I kept Cash and Tay kept Lou. So, uh, yeah, this is my room right now. I know y'all remember the bed actually being on that side. Yes, TV. But now... I got a TV on that side. And y'all already know your girlfriend to really get on the game. And I told y'all, I told y'all, bro. Like, I told, like, bro, why my stuff turning off? I don't know why it turned off. But I told y'all, gang, like, we really finna, you feel me, get that on shit the dope. RP. You know what I'm saying? We finna really get on that game. I love lights. My favorite color, color so lights. We, we I love it. the bed, you know what I'm saying? You know, throw my own sauce on things. Just want to show y'all, like, everything. Yes, Tom. Also, like she is fully moved out. This was her side. She. You know I got some of my shoe boxes and stuff up there. A lot but of shoes. I've really moved none of my clothes to that side yet. I still yes, got carpet like, clean. Done in this room, like I got a mirror coming and stuff. Like, oh no, you guys yes, right mirror. now full house tour when I'm fully done. Like y'all, let me know that. Here go the living room. Put the TV on the wall. It was right there. Um, you know what I'm saying? Just got this built, so it's not like all cleaned up and stuff. No, got the rug. Y'all know I like that's black. That's sexy. So, you know what I'm saying? Kind of match black with anything. So, that's kind of my, you know, flavor on that. I've been having some time on my hands. So, you know what I'm saying? I've been making me some stuff. Some artwork to put up around the crib. That's dope. Y'all know I love music. So, I just thought. Okay. Dope, love music. Some, uh, Walmart. You know what I'm saying? Shout so out to Walmart. Things. But, you know, I'm just showing y'all what I've been doing with my time. You know what I'm saying? Just want y'all to check me out. Um still look the same i'm actually going to get something to go there but i just haven't yet damn they house dope one room at a time damn high house dope as fuck uh oh yeah let me show y'all in here let me turn yes red light special boxes i got a whole bunch of trash y'all like 
I've been redoing the whole house. Like, as you guys can see, oh, it's trash everywhere. This little room, I know y'all remember that what this room sexy. looked like. I'm not sure. I don't know you what the room looked like. There you go. You know what I'm saying? I had to turn the red light off. But uh, I'm going to start a little video of what this area kind of looked like before I had redecorated it a little bit. I'm kind of not done. Still got some stuff to, you know what I'm saying, do in here. But, uh, yeah, I just know how house smell good. Here. You know what I'm saying? We're going to go upstairs with it because I've also been, um, redecorating up here and redoing stuff up here because like i told y'all i don't live alone no more you know what i'm saying i got two of the homies that stay with me that's also gonna be shooting some content and stuff with me so you know what i'm saying look you know what i'm saying got some stuff prepared you know what i'm saying but uh here go this room let me you know show y'all where i'm coming from upstairs boom here go this room right here it's the homie room you know no. what i'm saying Gang, oh that's cute bro got the calls in here so he hard. We all trying to get on the game and flow. So you know what I'm saying? Hey, y'all gonna have to mess with us, man, on the servers, man. Let's go in here. Oh, yeah, we're doing this, too. It's just kind of like a whole bunch of trash and stuff right now, y'all. Like, it is not together, like, at all. I did buy this, which is pretty cool. But you know what I'm saying? I still gotta get, like, the foundation of what I'm kind of doing up here. I that chair is dope. Too. This is new. But you know what I'm saying? It's still coming together. This room over here is also one of the homies' room. You know what I'm saying? Yes, Mira. You know what I'm saying? Yes, Black. It's a boys thing, a bro they thing. A lot of redecorating. Black ain't. Redecorating black is cute. Stuff, black man. is sex. Still got a lot to work on, but this is what I've been doing with a lot of my time. This room right Keep here yourself occupied. is the studio room. Yes, like studio. Music studio. Yes. Like, you know what I'm so. saying? My other video. Mm, I can't wait till I get my spot. I don't. Like, for real, for real, I don't need a two-bedroom. I need a one-bedroom. But I want my, my apartment to definitely, you know what I'm saying, uh, have some type of personality. personality, And hopefully I have enough storage to where I can turn one of my closets to a studio. So I can, you know what I'm saying, get back to the closet vibes. I know some of y'all been rocking me for a long, long, long time. I used to, like, do music in the closet, do my videos in the closet. And um, I, I started off in the car. I moved from the car to the closet to the room. But uh, I wish her the best. You know what I'm saying? This was definitely a positive video. I know the video isn't done, but it's almost done. But I'm going to just end it there because, you know, she's just doing her little house tour, doing her thing. Uh, keeping herself occupied and that's that's important you know what I'm saying when you're going through anything not just a breakup when you're going through anything y'all just keep yourself busy keep yourself positive you know what I'm saying like I said make sure you have a strong support team behind you beside you and keep God first you know what I'm saying and keep yourself first too because you matter how you feel matter your mental and all that stuff matter and some days ain't gonna be easy but this was a great video. I'm definitely headed to Tay's channel right now to go watch her video um, responding to Jazz's video. So, hope that you enjoyed this video. You already know. A lot of content coming out for you. Be blessed. Okay? Stay clean. And uh, I love you. Yeah. Signing out. Peace. Nah, I ain't conceited. I'm a different breed. It. Catch you slipping. Best belief. I don't need no reason. I'ma cut the ties, ho. Turn your wife to my ho. Just focus on you, baby girl. <laughs> J vibes. You know the vibes. You know the fuck going on. And I'm out this bitch. She buying seven rings like I'm Ariana. Yeah,